So for the optimistic cynic guy Shit, ho got a hell of a grip It's never a problem to niggas is piling and bitches they all Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J Rob four four seven back at it again with another Buffalo Bulls Dynasty video, and today we're going up against Tulsa. You guys see, we did get some new recruits committed to our team, and hopefully they can help out with us. Most likely, I might redshirt them so they can become better as the year progresses. I mean, well, as their career progresses. But I'm going to show you the recruiting board and see we only have nine scholarships left so that means that we gave a large amount of our scholarships away we got 14 people signed on for next year and we also got we're looking at an outside linebacker he's a 66 i'm well 69 but you know if he red shirts he'll probably go up to like a 73 as a freshman and then by the time he's a senior i'd say he's in the mid 80s or maybe even high 80s so that means that you know this team could might as well become a juggernaut believe it or not i mean this year was that year where we could have won and last year you know we did go to a bcs bowl we just couldn't get it done i mean we are ranked ninth in the nation but i would not call this team a juggernaut not definitely not because the quarterback situation is still something we got to work out i mean i do like using these three quarterbacks because our running back game is not the best so using our quarterbacks as uh running backs sometimes actually works for us so i'm gonna keep doing that and you guys see we got kyle miller justin nelson we got some good recruits kyle miller definitely gonna help jamal berry definitely gonna help and you know i want to get to the point where we're so good that 70 overall recruits are still going to have the red shirt. So that means by the time they're seniors, they're going to be like 90s, which is going to be crazy because I, I honestly, you're going to, you're going to think I'm crazy. I honestly want to go 10 years deep with this 10 years deep. All right. Because football is a different sport. Basketball, it, it, it's, that's a different animal in itself. But football, I, I like playing this a lot more than actually playing NCAA basketball. And Hofstra, we're up to season seven, okay? And that that's that's just insane, all right? Three more years of that. I don't know if I could do it, y'all. I don't know. We're already up to season two for TCU. But, yeah. Anyway, you guys see that we're going to be receiving from Tulsa. They're a pretty good team. Uh, they're not the best, but they do like to throw the ball a lot. So, that's something we got to look out for. So, JT Burgess takes it from the two, and he gets up to the 23-yard line. That's a pretty good return. So, Ulysses McDonald's going to take the carry, and he picks up 10 yards on his own, making it a first down and 10. So, UMAC still in the game at quarterback. He's going to get the ball, pass it out to Kevin Rogers, who picks up the first down for the Bulls. So, two consecutive first downs were... We're cooking right now, so you max still in the game. I got to reward him for good performance. And, ooh, that spin move didn't quite work. So it's going to make it second and five. But, hey, he's doing good. So I still got to keep him in. So he's going to pass it out to Kevin Rogers yet again. Gets the first down. So I said, you Mac, I'm sorry, but I got to bring in Merchant because I'm trying to throw it down the field. And we do as we find Charles Bush, the backup tight end for a 15-yard reception. So with 449 left in the first quarter. Chris Merchant dropping back to pass is not going to find his man right there. So on the third and 12 with 444 left to go in the first. Chris Merchant dropping back to pass. Finds Kevin Rogers over the middle. Wide open for the 28-yard reception. Kevin Rogers is eating right now. So Tyree Jackson is going to come in at quarterback. First and goal. Read option. Works to perfection as Tyree gets in untouched. So we go up. 6 nothing in the first quarter. That was definitely a quick drive. And, you know, I, I like the way we were moving the ball, but we got to play defense, all right? You guys see the Golden Hurricane is already in stock. They're already getting close. But you guys see our defense coming up big, Willie White. He is definitely going to be a corner piece next year because he's a beast at that linebacker spot. And we definitely have a lot of, you know, we don't have a lot of experience at linebacker coming in for next year. And you guys see, I didn't pick up the screen that fast, but Christian Gonzalez has got the speed to track it down. So the Golden Hurricane will have to settle for a field goal. And it goes right up the uprights. It's like the computer is like perfect at making field goals in this game. I don't get it. I just really don't. So with 249 left to go Tyree Jackson back in the game is only going to pick up about two yards on that rush right there making it second and eight Chris Merchant dropping back to pass trying to find a man he finds Martinez over the middle 
for the first down, a 20-yard reception. So with two minutes left to go, Chris Merchant dropping back to pass in five wide formations. Going to heave it up there for Ron Willoughby. No, that was actually from Micah Robinson. Ron Willoughby graduated. I don't even know why I said that, but that was going to... that. Resulted in an interception, and you know, we tried to go big, but it just did not happen. So, Chris Merchant, I still left him in the game because he's our best passer, and this time he finds Micah Robinson for the first down. So, now we're going to actually use our running back. Zach Nicholas is going to take the carry for about eight yards, seven yards, so making it a second and two. So, with 25 seconds left, Chris Merchant dropping back to pass again, finds Ke Micah Robinson. For this 17 yard reception. So, with six seconds left, Chris Merchant dropping back to pass. It's gonna find Jacob Martinez in the end zone for the 12 yard touchdown, putting us up 13 to 3. So, Tyree Jackson now going five wide. He's gonna throw it to Zach Nicholas, who is out there as a wide receiver, who picks up the first down. So, I left Tyree in the game because he was doing good. And he hands it off to Zach Nicholas, who's got some room and picks up 18 yards on that rush. We're taking it to the Golden Hurricane today, and Zach Nicholas is running like a man possessed out there on the field. So, on a first and ten, Tyree Jackson dropping back the pass is going to get sacked. That's going to make it second and 23, so Chris Merchant back in the game. He's going to find Jackson Williams for about 10 yards on that one, making it third and 13. So, it's third and manageable, still third and long. And we do get the first down as Jackson Williams just hangs on to the ball to get it. So, on a second and goal, Ulysses McDonald's going to take the read option in for the score as we go up 22-3. The Golden Hurricane cannot stop our offensive attack. And our offensive attack is great. It's just our defense. But our defense is still showing up today. So, you guys see the Golden Hurricane, they are in the red zone. And they do find Nolan for a one-yard reception, making it second and nine. But Rubley is going to pass it. I mean, he's going to hand it off to Nolan. And he's not going to get anywhere on that one. It's actually going to be a tackle for the loss. So it's now third and long for the Golden Hurricane. Rubley's dropping back the pass yet again. And he finds his receiver. But that's going to be a loss of 11 yards. So hopefully their kicker can miss this. I, this is a long one. But, you know, you know how the computer be. The computer, damn near perfect. Like, that was right in the middle. I don't get it. So, we got 50 seconds left in this first half. I'm saying, I want to score one more time. So, JT Burgess takes it from the six. He's got some blocks on the outside. He's got a good amount of room. He tries to cut back in, but he just couldn't get enough room. But, nevertheless, that puts us into plus territory. And Tyree Jackson is going to get the read option right here. Picks up about five yards, so 37 seconds left. We got two timeouts. Tyree Jackson dropping back to pass. It's going to find his receiver, Cam Lewis, who gets the first down, so the clock will stop momentarily. Tyree Jackson still in the game. He's going to throw it up there for Martinez, but Martinez cannot get the first down. So we only have 16 seconds left. The clock is still ticking. Chris Merchant dropping back to pass. Now he's running. He's going to get the first down on his feet. Chris Merchant does not do that very often, but he did pick up 11 yards. So with nine seconds left, Tyree Jackson going to get the read option, picks up four yards on that one. So with four seconds left, I said, you know what? I want to put seven on that board, not three. I want to put seven. So with four seconds left, Chris Merchant dropping back the pass. Going to throw it at the back of the end zone, but he gets picked off by Thomas, and that will end the half. That's two interceptions for Chris Merchant. Oh, my God. But, hey. We go into halftime leading 21 to 6 against the Golden Hurricane. And it's an it's our it's an away game, which actually makes it pretty impressive. But this is our final regular season game. Uh if USF doesn't lose, then they're gonna win this division of the conference, the East. So honestly, we can just pray, but we do not control our own destiny. But we're gonna keep winning, alright? Because we still want to go to a good bowl game. And we still want to have fun out there on the field. So, you guys see, on a second and five, Rubley dropping back to pass. Williams is going to knock him back a few yards, but he he still picked up the first down. So, you guys see the Golden Hurrigan are trying to make a comeback, and Rubley is just rumbling down the field. So, first and goal for the Golden Hurricane. They're like, no, no, no. We're not going to give up that easy. But our defense isn't either. 
as that's Chauncey Williams crashing down right there to get the tackle for the loss. So third and goal, Rubley's dropping back the pass. He's getting, he was getting rushed. And we force a fourth and goal. They settled for a field goal. So that would make it 29, I mean 21 to nine. JT Burgess is back there to return it. He gets it from the three. He's got some blocks. He's got some room as well, but that breakaway speed, man, it's just not there yet. Too bad he's a junior. If, if only I redshirted him, man. He would have been insane, if only. But you guys see on a second and six, Chris Merchant's just going to drop it. Hand it off to Zach Nicholas, who picks up 10 yards on that one, making it a first down and 10 yet again for the Bulls. So on a first down and 10, Chris Merchant's going to find Micah Robinson again for the first down. Micah Robinson has been very active today. And Chris Merchant, if only he could stop throwing picks, you know, that would help us win this game by a larger margin. And you guys see JT Burgess getting his. Tyree Jackson with another read option. He's going to try to find goal, but he cannot. So that's going to be a 10-yard rush. So second and goal for the Bulls with 221 left in the in the third quarter. Ulysses McDonald's going to drop back the pass, and he throws an interception. That's the second interception we have thrown in this game in the red zone, which is not good at all. So you guys see. We're going we're, we're gonna to start running the ball a little more because I, I was kind of mad. I was like, okay, we can't throw the ball. But, you know, I reneged. I reneged, and we end up scoring a touchdown because of it. That is Kevin Rogers who caught that one. So that puts us up 28-9. to nine. But the Golden Hurricane, they will not die. So you guys see Burgess is now at now in at quarterback, and Burgess gets into the end zone. Jabe Burgess. That makes it a 28 to 16 game with 240. The Golden Hurricane got the ball back and Jay Burgess is gonna pass to his man and Carter breaks a tackle and gets into the end zone. So that's two straight scores for the Golden Hurricane. They're only down by five. So this game is definitely not over, but Tyree Jackson, he's been doing good all day. I gotta give it to this man. And UMAC, he's going to take the read option. He, he got the cut he wanted, but he just got a shoestring tackle. So he picked up 16. So we're trying, to, we're trying to run out this clock. Zach Nicholas, he's going to pick up about 7 on that one. Excuse me, 8. And that, that was the last timeout used by the Golden Hurricane. So if we just run out this clock, we might end up winning this game. So on a 2nd and 9, Chris Merchant is in a QB. He's going to toss it to Zach Nicholas, and Zach Nicholas doesn't pick up anything. So, third and 15. Chris Merchant dropping back the pass. And no. Nope. Incomplete pass, which means we have to settle for a field goal. And you guys know Terrence Jones is not that good at field goals. And he barely missed it right off the bottom of the crossbar. So, the Golden Hurricane would have 14 seconds. To complete this miracle, Jay Burgess dropping back the pass. Nearly gets sacked on that one, so he'll have another chance. We're in man up three deep. Dropping back the pass again. That could have been an interception by Brandon Williams, but it was deflected, so seven seconds. This is this is, this is is it. This is it. Jay Burgess dropping back the pass. He's going to heave it up there, and the Golden Hurricane will end up losing this game. We end up winning. 28 to 23 we almost let them come back but we hung in there and we got the victory today i really don't know who i should give player of the game to let's see what the who the game says they said they give it to kevin rogers i believe it i mean he was working his butt off so was michael robinson but quarterbacks can't throw picks that's a problem we can't do that if we want to win games definitely for next year because we'll have all three guys back next year but we did win the game. We did really good on the ground today. I'm very happy about that. And our defense did pretty good until the game started getting serious. And they couldn't really do much. We almost let that game slip away. But nevertheless, we got the victory. So anyway, it's been another J-Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.